Probably should adjust it a little. Adjust my footing there. Never mind. Every time, every time I'm feeling like only slightly confident, it's when I do really good. All right, that's pretty much the same as last time. So yeah. Okay. All right. I I figured it out. I got it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do an F in Turkey. F off. F off, Granny. Semi pro my foot. Turkey, 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 turkey. Yeah! Do I get a chicken? Do I get nugget? Alright, now, now that I figured out what the game wants from me. wasn't strong enough, I think there's a problem with that one. That's alright. I'm gonna put not much spin on this one. Just a little, just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Alright, let's finish strong, eh, eh York? Or hey, Zach, since I'm playing as York. Come on! Oh, wow, no, that was bad. I mean, luckily I don't have to deal with that because that was the last frame, but... 181! That's a strong first game. I got some mint gum and oak leaf and some coal... Wait. No, just some coal... How do we get 550? 300's the max! Maybe we have to play different game modes. By the way, Mrs. Carpenter, remember the first time I bowled for you and showed you that I had what it takes to go... This seven, definitely was not supposed to happen right after. Is there any special reason why the lane was open? Oh, okay, now we're gonna the get open. Something very peculiar happened that day. And as a result, I wasn't able to leave my house for quite some time. I got, I got to the bowling alley like... 30 minutes after it opened, and you showed up right in the middle of it. I told you my husband passed away 10 years ago, didn't I? Well, I received a sort of message from him. Crime, punishment, and love, all three were intertwined. Intriguing. I'd love to hear more. When he was in good health, he only ever bought me a single present. Only once during our entire marriage. Okay. Oh, what a terrible present it was. That alligator figurine looks you so You shut your mouth. I would marry a person on the spot if they gave it. me that present. He's so cute. Figurine? Oh, honestly, I just hated it. But that was the only present he ever gave me. So I put up with it and kept it in the house. Then, when he went up to heaven, I figured I finally oh my had Lord. a chance to get rid of it. So, I buried it along with this coffin. You threw it away? Yes, but I regret it now. The more I thought about it, the more I realized I just got rid of the one and only thing he'd ever given to me. I couldn't believe you had gone and done something so stupid. Then, suddenly, something unbelievable happened. Now, I woke up, went outside as usual, and there it was. The figurine was right there in my yard. It was glaring straight at me. As if it had a bone to pick with me. I was so shocked. I thought my heart was going to leap right out of my chest. It's kind of messed up that York did this now. I decided I had to tell my husband the truth. So I went up to his and did my best to tell him the whole story. 
Then I heard it. Honeybee. Let the humans give them. Who said that? He did. My husband started talking to me through his photograph. Pleased. I felt peace wash over my heart. And I decided to bring the figurine back inside my house. Then he spoke to me again. <laughs> Let the youngster use the lane, he said. I'm gonna put a doubt on that Listen, one. It all hit me. I rushed over and there you were getting a strike. That's when I realized. My husband has always been watching over me ever since he passed away. This is the power of eternal love. You understand me, Mr. Special Bunch. Dear. No. What was I thinking? I'm still in the middle of my game here. I was right on the verge of completely ruining my routine. Go on, get. I'm busy here. Shoo, shoo. Eternal love, Zach. Isn't it wonderful? But why do you think her husband ever bought her that thing in the first... No, we better not go there, Zach. <laughs> mysteries are far more romantic when they're left unsolved. Aww. Especially mysteries that are connected to romance. All right, that was pretty fun. But back to work. Uh oh. It's time for another oracle. I don't know, but the game's taking its sweet time getting it ready. Or Hoongan just put a curse on my game and it crashed. Okay, there it goes. When the sun awakens, catch the teeth of the baby man's tail at the force altar. At the entrance to the other world, we will be. Zack, it's another one. I kind of wish Hoongun actually showed up in the reflection of something in every scene. It doesn't have to be the hotel, but I wish we saw him again there. This oracle is a symbol. The false altar. You already know what this is, right? Definitely. The place where Lise Clarkson's body oh, was yeah, discovered. She was found under a bridge some sort of altar as if she was being worshipped. That's what Chef David said, right? Oracle decryption stuff. I don't even have any options for this when one. The sun awakens. Refers to dawn, of course. And the tip of the baby bear's tail is the North Star. Ah, okay. Because, uh, the little the Ursa Minor probably... Look straight to the north from where Lisa's body was found. York, you don't have to do the voice. In fact, please don't. On the surface, this oracle may seem tricky and convoluted, but it's still mere child's play. Huh. Pathetic. Ouch, York. Take it easy there. Zach, let's follow the oracle and head to where Lisa's body was found. I don't know what other world refers to, but I'm sure we'll find out once we get there. Oracle? That's right, Patty. This case is a rather complicated one. So Zach and I are following oracles given to us by a skeletal gentleman in order to crack it. Well, we just wasted a whole day by having to wait for the bowling alley to reopen, I guess. Piton. Do you copy? It's dead. 
Hurry up and answer. Yes, use the radio. This is DC Eagle. I read you loud and clear. Over. Oh, good. Mr. Yard. I appreciate that he just accepts the nickname immediately. There's no point in using code names if he's just going to say the real name. Mr. York, can you hear me? Hey, Mr. York. Oh, oh. Right. Over. DC Eagle to Lucare Tiger. Something wrong? Over. Mr. York, I got something I need to tell you ASAP. Just sit tight and listen, okay? Over. Roger Wilco. Go right ahead. Over. I just happened to overhear some of the Clarksons talking on another channel. Apparently, Lisa's mother's been missing since early this morning. Oh, she's probably dead. I reckon it might be related to the case. If this is so anything like the premonition, we're gonna have people start dying left and right here. Oh, over. Lisa's mother. You're referring to Galena, the social butterfly? Over. Yes, Melvin, I agree. There's no need for us to cling to formalities. Who's more beautiful, Galena or your mother? What? Candy Woods, your mother. Melvin said she was the prettiest girl in town. How should I know? That's a stupid question. Why is it stupid? My mom is sick. So that was a bad move. <laughs> really? We step right into a private matter without any shoes on. Do you think so? But these things are bound to happen. After all, I'm a special agent of the FBI. We make bad moves all the time. And there isn't an organization out there that's more well versed <laughs> regarding infringing on people's privacy. Jeez. Okay, but it seems like we don't need to go to the sheriff's department. But we could. We could. Let's do that since we haven't been there yet. After we got done with the polling thing, we would get go back to the present day. Because um, the way it was set up on my like menu, it looked like that was the end of a chunk, or a mystery chunk. You know what I mean? You know what I mean about the mystery chunk? Yeah. You know. You might even say he reminds me of someone. Scatman Crothers. In 
1980. Hard left. He played Dick Howard. Yeah, you got this, York. Dang it. Why, in Greenvale 2 and now in Lacare, everything's got fences around it. Why does it gotta be like that? Mr. York, <laughs> looking sharp as usual. What do we be? Let's talk. Melvin, is there any data about this town I should know? Data? Yes, info like a sheriff like you would want to relay to me. Hmm, problem is I reckon you already know everything there is to know. You're really putting me on the spot here. There's got to be at least one thing. Hmm, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got the perfect thing. Well, then out with it. Yellow devils storm the town, your worst fear buzzing to life. The killer bees! There's nowhere to hide. Man, I'm still editing the Wind Waker LP, but I guess that gang of kids is still haunting me here. Any of you, the town's been suffering from killer bee attacks lately. Like those murder hornets we heard about for like two weeks? Tried taking some of the town budget and putting a bounty on the targets, but... I reckon everyone's too scared to try and exterminate them. So, now I ask you, feel like getting rich? If you can complete the mission, I'll give you the bounty. How's that for some data? Zach, that reminds me. Credit cards don't work in this town. Might be a good idea for us to secure some extra cash. In addition, bees have always held a high spot in the list of creatures that kill the greatest number of human beings. Right in between jellyfish and water buffalo. You know what that means. This is a job for the FBI. Melvin, I'll do it. Zach and I will officially take on this request of yours. I'll be you really helping us out here. I promise to do my best to make you a rich man, Mr. FBI Special Agent. Exterminate 30 killer bees within the time limit? Why is it timed? Bulletin board, you accept free quests. Oh, but you can do three. Oh, that's cool. All right. A squirrel got into our house and it's ruining everything. Chase it out before it eats us out of house and home. Defeat a squirrel. I hear it buzzing through the walls, the tiny yellow demon. A wild dog. Oh, no. It almost ate a poor baby boy. Please get rid of it. Oh, but the donkey. Gleaming eyes. A gator. Must be dealt with. Have you sampled the town's cuisine? And you ever been to the clinic? Undergo a checkup. I can do that. I'll, I'll kill the bee and I'll punch the squirrel. The dog, we'll see if someone else can take care of that one. I don't want to punch any dogs. Let's descend. Not enter or go down, we're descending. Fascinating. I imagine things will happen down here eventually, but pretty much nothing here it seems like right now. Alright, let's go, Patty. Do. 
So I gotta find Lance, Crane, and Mary and Tommy. The problem is I have no effing idea where those people are. I do have to go to a checkup, so let's just do that now. Doors are blocked. I guess probably the clinic is in a different part of the building, that makes sense. This is rider music than I expected. guidance from the Lord. Even right here in Lucare, a sad town caught in the grip of the Clarksons. Hot takes. I, I, I don't know if you should be preaching that from the pulpit. I feel like, like, go for it. I respect it. I feel like you will probably get into trouble for that. How do I do a checkup at the clinic? Do I have to get hurt first? Maybe we have to go attack some killer bees. I really wish there was a select for which mission I want to do. This is the clinic, is it not? Am I insane? Killer B, Zach. Mm -hmm. 
I hate to say it, but I guess we just go to sleep and continue with the plot, because I really don't know what else we can do right now. I don't even know what these squares are, because they don't get labeled until I unlock them. Yeah, I mean, I don't have much else to do, because I don't know where to go for anything. I could be missing something, but I don't know what to do about it. This is the deep south. Keep our eye out for any killer bees, huh? Oh, hey, man. I keep forgetting. Into the squirrel, did you like jump over it? Hey, you! You're FBI, right? And who might you be? I'm Raven, but around here they call me the Speed Witch. Raven Yahoo! Okay. We're here investigating the lease case, yeah? And instead of a car, you're using a skateboard. Ah, she's introducing. You've already become the talk of the town. Wait, you know? maybe not. Anyway, I was just wondering if you needed any help. What's your name? I'm FBI special. I wonder Agent if she's going to give us a car, but I feel like please call me your okay, game's not. Okay, it is. So canonically, is she it's saying Zacky? You kind of business right now. And I was hoping you'd be down to try it out, Yorkie. What kind of business are we talking about here? I drive my customers to wherever they want to go, and once we get there... Oh, maybe. do I have to pay for fast travel? Is that how it works? I think about it. I reckon it ain't much different from a taxi. Seems a bit strange to call it a new type of business, then. Only because you haven't heard the details yet. Here, let me explain. I got a feeling that in the future, cell phones are going to get more advanced. Sweary. People are gonna be able to just order taxis from their phones whenever they need to get somewhere. So I'm thinking, hey, why don't I just start a company that instantly sends out drivers to take folks from point A to point B? How? I wanna make it so that anyone out there can just register on my site as a driver. I'm talking normal people, not pros. And once we get a request, I love how Deadly Premonition 2 is just becoming the Forrest Gump of video games and that York is just meeting a ton of people who are like, one day this is going to happen. And York is like, man, I bet Forrest Whitaker will make win an Oscar next year. Okay, that's a good name for a company. Cool, yeah. Is that legal? Beats me. But if I hire him all as independent contractors, I reckon it'll work out. See, that means each driver and customer will be bound by their own private agreements. My company will just provide them with a platform to hook up. Squeaky clean, right? <laughs> hmm. Yes. Now, here comes the fun part. I want to help you get around while you're in our town, Yorkie. Four feet, of course. Keep an eye out for my balloons. Ah, so the balloons Whenever are for, you see okay. One in town, give me a whistle and I'll be there. Why not invite me to use your site then? 
Why are you out here driving around? Still experimenting with this business model. My site isn't open yet, and I'm still trying to figure out what sort of fees will work best. So I decided to go find myself a customer to get a feel for how things will really go. Well, you want a ride? Zach, that was quite the spiel, wasn't it? This seems like little more than a scheme to make some pocket change from carpooling. What's new about that? Although it will be a bit hard for us to keep investigating here for days with nothing but a skateboard. But what do you think? Should we accept your offer? I mean, I don't know if we need to at the moment, but sure, give me a ride. Let's experiment. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, get in, get in. Now, is York going to take the front seat? Okay, so that's what those logos are as well. Let's go back to, yeah. Go oh, 250 is not bad for an Uber. That's a fun little fast travel gimmick. I like that. It makes way more sense than like Deadly Premonition 1 where you just call George. And he just goes right in front of you. El Costa, but it's definitely faster than your skateboard. You visit secret hot spots. Alright, let's 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 mark a side quest off if we have the materials, which I sure hope we do.